Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this is my son Ben. And today we have a new bottle, as always, <laughs> on our <laughs> cask. It's a Tamnavulin from the Glen of the Livet. And Tamnavulin is a distillery, a malt whiskey distillery, which produces, well, not many single malt whiskies. I remember just one for the last two decades. And uh, this had been a 12-year-old, and it has some, well, collector's value because there's only this single bottle uh, available, and it became rare. And from year to year, the availability uh, went down, the prices rose, and now uh, there is a new bottle, Tamnevulin, without an age statement, a double cask on the market. And uh, we were there in October 2017. Yeah. And yeah. there we took drone videos. So mm -hmm. I put a drone video in here for you know, for letting you see how this distillery looks and very uh, uh, good uh, wide seeing or uh, how it's called. Uh, it's a sc very scenic view ooh, and, and, uh, and the uh, distillery looks really cool because it has that copper roof and, and when the, the copper oxidizes, oxidizes then you get that green layer of the copper yeah. and it, it really is, is really distinct about and this green is shiny green. and mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, cloudy setting lightly raining uh, then you have this exactly the color you have here uh, on the writing and at the bottom of the card box as well as on the bottle this is the green from the roofs of the Tam de Woolen distillery mm -hmm. So, uh, no age statement, 40% uh, ABV, uh, 0.7 liter bottle. Do you have a price for that? Oh, no, mm. no, no, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Me neither. Uh, so, we just have <laughs> Could a look be at really it. expensive, though. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I, nice. I would expect 40 to 50. Uh, Something like that. Yeah. Round 40. Mm -hmm. Fruity. <clears throat> And uh, I think there... It's a 40% one, right? Yeah. There should be more bottlings coming out in the near future because they got their own bottle with engravings on top here. Mm -hmm. uh, so there will be more to see. And uh, it's not an individual bottle number, but an individual batch number. This is batch 308. So there should be tens of thousands of bottles out there. Um, so I think the proprietors of Tamnavulin, they started... Uh, well, to to reactivate, it's producing for already several years now. There had been some years where they produced less, but I don't know if they ceased production at all. <clears throat> there were rumors that always something was going on in distilling. Yeah, hopefully they go a bit more <clears throat> into a direction of the single malt market and that yeah. we might enter this distillery at some point. Mm -hmm. Sweet, fruit, toffee, honey, apples, peaches, and a hint of tropical fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a. <coughs> you really smell the summer in this one. You you have uh, a lot of fruits in there, a bit of flower flowery stuff going on, tropical fruits as well, honey definitely, and a bit of. Almonds, almonds, yeah. Bit mm -hmm. of nuttiness on the almond side. So it's a nice almonds. flowery, sweet, sweet one. Mm, the almonds Good. go over a little bit to marzipan. Yeah. Mm. Reminds me of when you, you walk <coughs> through a, I don't know, park with apples, with apple trees or something like that. Mm. So it's a wonderful, complex, fruity. Yeah, definitely. Single malt. Mm. Mm-hmm. In the start, quite oily, and then switching over um, to a light fruitiness, and that is covered up by, well, lightly bitter notes, a cocoa oakiness. Then mm. it hits really, it hits really with a light bitterness. The oiliness then is gone, and some drying influence going on the inside of my mouth. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm, the smell really got you in the, into the summer, but now it's it's more of a fall autumn season. Mm, you do have very very light fruitiness or short fruitiness, I would rather mm. say, and then you really get hit by the oak. So you can really feel the the additive maturation of the oak. So there's a lot of I would say oomph in it. Um, I would have expected more com complexity from the smell. It's more yeah, the smell is complex. The smell is complex. Mm -hmm. The <clears throat> the taste is more unilateral into the oak direction. You do have mm -hmm. a little bit of hint here and there, but it's not as complex as yeah. I would have expected from the smell. So I would have expected uh, having a distillery which haven't brought out a older, a more matured whiskey for a decade why did they start with an old age statement they, they, <laughs> they should have thought longer and should have taken out <clears throat> some older whiskey some showing some age statement so starting with a no age statement the oak is really intense when you <clears throat> when you have a second sip uh -huh. and, uh, yeah it's really getting into the oak whoa so we have uh, american oak cask first mm -hmm. uh, and then the double maturation the finish in sherry casks and the sherry casks bring this light, uh, say, nuttiness, almondness in it. Mm. <clears throat> it's nice. And the light fruit should come from the distillery character and the more heavy fruits in the aftertaste, very short from from the finishing. Mm -hmm. from the, mm, the, cask. the aftertaste <clears throat> goes a bit into the bittersweetness region, like cacao, bittersweet chocolate, something like that. It, it fades out. It's it's even becoming more, what do you call it, these dark flavors. <clears throat> and mm. more and more uh, sticking my tongue to the roof of my mouth. Mm. So it's it's drier in the yeah. aftertaste. And the aftertaste is also a bit dry, you're right. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to go to whiskey.com and read everything about the Tam Navul industry on our website. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.